People were coming ready to shoot with ammunition, they stood there with guns pointing at us. We didn't even do anything. They called us animals, like this is not our part, let's hear them and we are tired. We, we don't want to fight, we're not violent people, we're civil people. Uh, we do things according to the book, but when you take your own initiative, you get to fight with everything that you do. We can't afford proper houses. There's not even a proper job for us. We can't even afford to study, so we settle for less. And when you settle for less, they look, they look upon you and then they, I don't know, I just have so much hatred towards the Cape Town. I'm angry. I feel like lost, like, like the way I felt. I felt like I could fight somebody, physically fight with somebody. But I can't because I have to keep composure. This is a nice community. We can stand together. We can also work together as a community. This is a very nice place to live in. But because the city is failing us, I don't know, they want this for themselves. They want our happy place for themselves. They want to build things here that doesn't, and we don't fit the criteria. That's why we have to move. We don't want to end out to that. We will, like I said, we work for what we want. But I think if um, the ward councillor start listening to our problems, what's happening in our house, don't sit there in your warm house and read Facebook statuses or check videos or get messages what's happening here. Don't come with that nonsense, man. You don't know shit what's happening in our houses, why structures get put on. We are overcrowded in each and every house in this community. We are overcrowded. We cannot live like sardines. Every night you must debate where you're gonna sleep. Are you taking the couch, the floor, or the bed? It's your choice. You have an option. But no, man. if they do stuff according to the book, they um, they start taking care of us also. We will take care of them. We will stand together. We've been living in this stretch over five decades now. Moved from affluent areas now to and dumped here. We were dumped here. I was a kid as I've told you. Many of these people can they are still elderly people that can say exactly where they stay. And as you can see we're living in a confined space comparing to the other side of Outway Valley. Where most of the people that live there weren't originally from Outway. So we were forcefully removed from Outway into Hamburg, which is the harbour area. But we lived to die still since the sixties. But until now I've re realized talking on bring you somewhere, you need to draw the attention of people that can say this is what we need to do to transform this dilemma that we are finding ourselves in today. Horses are the first people, the 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 horses in the fabric and all the good as the cops are in the people who are in the people who are in But they know what is upset, they come a few hundred years and the ground that they are in the ground is also the ground that they are in the ground and the ground that they are in the fabric that they are in the ground and in the ground that they are in the ground and in the ground that they are in the ground So the city is to blame with their leadership that they have in Hangweg and their council is to blame for what here is in Hangweg. The next step here was to build a new place. And we will build all the way. The city will be here for us. So all the sex and ghettos are here because we pay the rent. And how come we pay the rent on our own fucking ground? The rent is for services, but we don't have any services. Look how we have a place. We don't have any services from the DA. Or the only service that we have is the police service. Yes. But what is it for fucking nothing, man?
Ja, Luta continua, maar we zijn frik gaan voor onze plek, zo lijkt het.